I would say probably to go to as many trainings as you can and know that it's a steep learning curve, but I mean, if you keep showing up consistently, you're gonna get the best results, I guess, with, as with any sport. Learn how to tie your belt <laughs> so you don't look like a fool. <laughs> it will feel weird, I guess, initially. For me, like I had never done kind of fighting, any kind of fighting sports. It felt weird to be like so close to people that you don't know, but as, as soon as you like let your, you know, guard down <laughs> it's it's maybe maybe that's not the best advice <laughs> but as soon as you let things go kind of thing and and just trying to get into the zone of things then it's just better <laughs> like if you're gonna do jujitsu you kind of got to it's a real commitment so uh for me i was doing other sports so i would say like if you're gonna do jujitsu kind of like have that as your thing that you're going to be doing just so you can get those hours in. I don't know, I think it's uh, you have to persist, like you have to, like the first few months are really hard, especially as a woman, I feel, because you have to really get used to it and it's a male dominated sport. So we just keep going. And I, I think the, the best advice would be not to compare yourself to anyone else, like just be on your own journey. Because sometimes if you, when you first start, you compare yourself and you're like, oh, I'm not doing well. So that's when you, you probably give up. And at first I wouldn't train as much. Like I wouldn't do double or double classes. Even though it takes time, I think to adjust, for your body to adjust uh, when you first start. So, I, and also maybe studying, I, I, I think studying videos on YouTube and I think it's good. Well, to me, I found it really good to just focus on only a few videos. Like not, yeah, because if you just watch anything, then um, you, yeah, you don't get good value. Like you, you, I feel like you can't really apply everything on the mat. So frustration, like you have to deal with frustration a lot and you have to leave your ego aside when you're on the mat. That's probably the hardest part for some people, especially when you first start. You might want to start pinpointing what moves you might like, what might suit your style. You might want to look up a couple of YouTubers that um, might help you orient your game towards, you know, if you're short and stonky legs, you might like butterfly guard. If you're flexible, you might like spider guard. And then you start to build, I don't want to say your own game because that comes later, but start to pick things you like and work from there. A lot of the really good white belts that we see come to our gym that get their blue belts are people who already have a semblance of a game. Uh, it's obviously at their appropriate level of white belt and then blue belt, but they're really good. And you almost get to a point in your white belt where if I give someone a triangle and their game's a triangle, or if I give someone an over under pass, it's the over under pass, and I'm a blue belt and you're a white belt, like I'm going to get passed. So I think. Jiu-Jitsu is such a big sport, you need to narrow it down and obviously you, you don't have to be really good at it, but you need to pick maybe maybe one move per position, right? Like one thing from the back, one pass, one sweep, one guard um, and try and start the process of linking them together. I think something I missed at White Belt was consistency. Um, I would put in huge chunks of time where I'd train five times, six times a week and then take three months off and I already had the sort of other parts of jiu-jitsu, like the, the desire to develop my own game and instructionals and studying jiu-jitsu, watching jiu-jitsu, but it, it's something to do, like when people say, just keep showing up, there is some wisdom to that. Uh, you have to do it properly and with goals and you can set yourself different goals, like pick a move once a month or whatever, but uh, yeah, in, in, in short, just keep showing up, but do it in an intentional way. Yeah, okay. so. First starting, um, it's a lot of fun and you want to get involved as much as you can because it's something brand new and something that even if you feel like you have um, the skills like maybe you come from football or soccer or gymnastics, it's a completely different rule set that the body needs to adhere to. So I think just learning the basics and learning how to like be on the mats, I think is a good start. So in those first few weeks, I would say just like getting comfortable being underneath someone 
um, and also being comfortable on top of someone in the jiu-jitsu realm it's yeah i think they're the first steps if they feel like they're not progressing it's usually the perfect sign that they are about to progress and i used to find that my biggest frustration was about to be my biggest bridge into the new the, the part where i was like had an aha moment you know where you, where i feel most lost is when usually the biggest change is about to happen you i could simply say something like train more <laughs> is uh pretty valid advice, but I think I've been asked this variations of this question multiple times, or I've, you know, been asked multiple questions from white belts. And based on the amount of the broad range of questions I've gotten from white belts, I think the overarching consensus is, is how overwhelming jiu-jitsu can be in, in the beginning, because there's so much information. Everyone you train with is more experienced than you. You know, so it feels like nothing works, none of it makes sense. So I, I always try to find some something to hang on to in all that chaos for the white belt. So I often narrow it down to the five basic positions of jiu-jitsu, which would be uh, close guard, half guard, side control, mount and back control. Obviously, more experienced people know there's many, many more than that. But if you think for a beginner, there are five core positions. If every position has a top and a bottom, so there's 10 positions. If you can just learn one technique for each of those 10 positions, at least for the majority of your jujitsu in those early days, you're not gonna be completely going, I have no idea what's going on. For, for the majority of the positions you'll find yourself in, you'll know a move and you'll be able to attempt said move. Whether you can execute the technique or not is a different thing, but it helps you kind of have some bearings in what can seem like just a chaotic wrestle of what the hell am I doing here? That would probably be the, the overall advice I, I, I feel is most applicable to, to beginner white belts who tend to have no idea what's going on. I think what I do well is just shoving my shoulder in people's between their neck and um, um, yeah, just getting right in there.